Alright. Yo. Real quick. Let's just bust this thing out real fast. Uh. Alright. This here. I made. This is the arm of a desk lamp. And this is the light socket part. That used to come down out of the, the bulb thing. This used to be the back of the bulb. This used to come off of here like this, I think. Uh, we got rid of it. We just basically, um, I did this off stream. I, ne I never usually do things off stream, but I just fiberglassed, fiberglass and epoxied this metal thing onto this thing. This had a little screw on the end, and the metal was a little screw, and I just coupled them with fiberglass and epoxy. And what that means is now this can be used for my tanning bulb. This thing will give me vitamin B. Uh, vitamin D, I mean. UVB. Okay, so we just need, to connect it up, okay, and I should be able to just mount this onto my webcam lamp, uh, but it's not connected yet. Let's rectify that real quick. Um, I'm just trying to do this job fast. It shouldn't take me that long. I have something else important I need to do today, but I figure we can squeeze this in YOLO style. Um, I desperately need some sunlight. And this thing provides artificial sunlight. Okay. For my health, I need it. I'm like a crackhead, my hands are shaking, I need that sunlight. Okay. So we got these stripped. And now I need this. It's not even going to take me that long, man. And we're going to have, finally, our tanning set up. Finally. And we can make a video about that. I mean, yeah, we didn't show how to make, you know, bust apart a desk lamp or whatever. But suffice to say, anybody can find a desk lamp and break it apart and get the metal stem from it. And that metal stem is going to enable me to aim my tanning bulb at myself properly. Okay, so let's just... Strip this one real quick. Boom. Boom. And now we need this bad boy. My favorite quick connect electrical connectors. I mean, you could just solder it or whatever, but this is so much faster. Uh, it's fine. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to make these a little shorter so that the wire is not sticking out from the connector. I don't want any short circuit risk. Okay, so let's just make it a little shorter. On both. Okay. Boom. And... Put these in our quick connects. Oh, 
Boom. And boom. Okay. And now Oh, I gotta make this one shorter. Okay. Oh, you know what? I guess I could find out which side's ground in this thing. Uh, okay, so the right side, got it, okay. The bigger stem of it will be the ground side. Okay, so the left side's ground in my hand. Got it. Uh... I think I can mark that. Oh no, it's called uh, the live and the neutral. Yeah, live and neutral. Alright, so I just wrote a little note neutral on it. Okay. So the live will go in this side. And... Okay. Now, if I plug this in, I believe it's going to turn on. So let me try that. Kind of scared, but YOLO. Wait, I gotta cut this stupid tag off. What an annoying piece of crap. Okay, let me plug it in. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking scared. I never like plugging stuff in the first time. Whew! Are we good? I think we're good. Uh, okay, let me unplug it. I'm going to switch my webcam over now. So you guys can see me mount this now into an ideal setup for myself. This is very important. Okay. So I want this boom arm to be my tanning boom arm in addition to my webcam boom arm. Oh, come on. You know what? That's not going to fly. Let me rearrange this thing. Okay, we're good. Um, alright, so for this, I need some really strong tape, I think. Ugh. <laughs> oh my. You know what, let me use electrical tape, heck with it. Should be fine.
Okay. So this is my vision. That I'll be able to face this any way I want. Like that. And stuff. Maybe I should even move it up higher? Like that? I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, something like that seems pretty good. Oof, just barely fits through. Oh, you SOB. Okay. Um. Okay. Let me just cut it now. For whatever reason, this thing was burning out. My my boom arm. So that's why we're making a separate attachment. So we can have a normal light bulb in here, but then a tanning bulb exterior to that. With no housing on it, because it burns, it, like, gets every housing too hot. <laughs> Most of my completed projects involve exclusively tape and I think the reason for that is I'm very fast at taping and everything else takes so long that the projects just kind of drag on forever but you know I do finish projects it's just the longer they take the fewer of them get done in a short time frame Everyone on YouTube and Twitch sees my life only through the lens of the past few years. They don't see all the things I've achieved in the whole sum of my life. They just see the past few years, and they assume I don't get stuff done. But I do. Okay. more piece of tape and I think I've got it. Okay. Put tape over the electrical tape because electrical tape is weak. Alright. Now <laughs> Uh, that's pretty nice. Why is it moving, though? Ah! Oh. moving. Will it stop? I think it stopped. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Uh, now we need what? We need to tape it to the base. That's what we need. I don't need sunlight. I need artificial sunlight. That's what this bulb's for. Or I could take vitamin D pills. But I don't want to take pills. This thing provides all the benefits of the sun. UVA and UVB. Okay, so let me just get these cord runs taped up. And we should be in business, boys. Straight up in business. Alright, so these will just go up here. Um, okay. When I'm done using it, I could just, like, have it camp out like that, really. <laughs> and then it becomes just my normal lamp again, I guess. If it's strong enough, I mean, I might need to add more reinforcement to it. I don't know. It's going to act like a little punk. Might need to get dealt with. Okay. Let's get some more tape. This part's a bit tedious, but the details matter to do a nice job. Gotta take care of these matters. Can't have loose wire randomly hanging out everywhere. Okay. You know what? This artificial sunlight's gonna be great uh, because it will also produce melatonin which uh, improves mood so if you guys have felt I've been crabbier over the winter this should help in that area it also acts as a um, appetite suppressant getting enough sunlight each day which is interesting I guess uh, the body's naturally thinking oh I'm not getting sunlight it's time to hibernate time to eat if you get plenty of sunlight your body's like oh I guess it's summertime or whatever, so I don't need to pig out. So, I, th I guess that's why in wintertime you gain weight. You're just hungrier, you eat more. Because you don't get enough sun. Your body's trained for that. So, uh, this will actually help me to naturally curb my appetite and then eat less and maintain my weight better during the winter months. So that'll be a nice little perk. I mean the perks just keep going on and on. 
the vitamin D, which comes from UVB light, enables the uptake of every other vitamin. Vitamin D is like the most important one. Without vitamin D, the other vitamins don't really work very well. So this is going to help me to be way, way healthier. Ooh, I just lost a spring. Cray up. Springs back on. Um, I think this last piece of tape should have us good to go. Just another thing making my room all the all the more interesting. There's a lot going on here. More and more stuff going on. <laughs> uh, you could call it overwhelming, or you could call it just a better room. I mean. Who wouldn't want a tanning setup on top of their lamp? <clears throat> Kablam. See, I don't like how it's moving. That part upsets me. Unless if it stops, maybe this is a better angle. Yeah, I guess that's fine. There, see, we're learning. We have to work with work with what we got. That's fine. And now under this, I can tan. Beautiful. Holy smokes! I, all right, I want one little more, one more little piece of tape. Uh, one more tie down point. <clears throat> okay, get this out here. I feel like I did a beautiful job. This is such a wonderful, eloquent solution. It didn't take that long. I had to Frankenstein a lamp to make it happen. I think that's okay. Okay. Ha! Come get some, boys. Come and get it. Alright, uh, I think... Should I tan right now? I think I need it, man. Whew! Okay, I wrote this down in March 2018. It says... Build special tanning bulb power supply and lamp attachment on webcam lamp so I can clip it in place and aim it. It burns out webcam lamp. I did that, man. I freaking did it. Unbelievable. It took me um, 10 months to get around to that one. But I did it. And that's what it's all about. You just gotta keep on 
moving forward, and before you know it, eventually, things on the to-do list get crossed off. This is a perfect example. Just when you think there's no hope, BAM! Larry comes through and does the job. You guys think stuff that's been on my to-do list for a while and didn't get done right away is dead in the water and might as well give up? Well, that's a mistake, and this is proof that's a mistake. That's a mistaken philosophy. Okay, so that's a big win for us. A big, big win. Feeling it. And just to celebrate, I will let you guys see me actually do a very short tan session. I mean, I'll leave it on, I don't know how long, but... So you can see, we got our webcam here. And... Uh-oh, does the whole thing... What? The webcam lamp you know what I bet if I tighten it that's disturbing though It's putting more weight on it. It needs a stronger spring now. I got... I got some springs in route. Haha. <laughs> I fixed it. It just had to be really tight now. So that's either the spring has to hold it up or the nut. I tightened the nut and now it stays put. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to have a little tanning session. Heck with it. I'm doing shirtless, baby. But. Yeah, we should be good like that. All right, guys, time for my tan. Woof, that's bright. All right, it's supposed to be three feet away. I can move it in more. Better set an alarm too. Uh,
No, I'm not! I was covering my eyes the same as you would with the sun! I'm trying to buy something, otherwise I'd have my eyes closed. Plus, I already bought one of those sun blocker things, but... I have the eyepieces you put over your eyelids. I already own that, but I just didn't get it because I'm just doing a quick little session here. You have to do shorter sessions at first until you get your base tan. I'm tanning! I have no shirt on. Oh, see, the tan's already over. You know what? I... I would go longer, but I can't. I set an alarm because last time I did this, I got burnt. So, I don't want to overdo it. They're just like eyelid cups. You just stick them over your eyes and they just stay. And I will start using those once I start tanning little longer sessions and stuff, but this first tan was only going to be about 10 minutes. It's not that dangerous to close your eyes with the sun hitting you in the face. And this thing is not even as potent as the sun. Guys, I'm excited. I probably feel better already. I did my first tanning, guys. I got a lot of sunlight, my daily value. You guys can't say anything now. That was your biggest concern with me, is that I'm not getting my daily value of sunlight. And now that I've taken care of that, I'm invincible. That was my one flaw. My only flaw as an individual. Now I'm the perfect human being in every way. You guys, that. Uh, See how I cut off the plastic housing here? That's because these super high heat lamps would melt right through that. So you just break it off so that it's just the metal screw terminal part. And that will prevent any melting issues. That solves that.